Hi guys, this is your instructor Asma Mushtaq and in today's lecture, I'll explain how you can perform the BCD to gray code conversion. We know that BCD is a 4-bit code uh, and that's why I have represented its bits as from B3, B2, B1 and B0. Corresponding to this, there must be existing a 4-bit gray code. Alright, and uh, you can uh, see I have written all the possible four combinations or four bit combinations for this although BCD code only exists up to this combinations like from 0 to 9 all right 0 to 9 are the BCD numbers and BCD numbers and for the rest of the combinations you can see the gray code bits will be marked as the don't care conditions okay so this bit combination will actually give us the don't care conditions in terms of the gray code now let's see how we can generate the gray code or you can also see my lecture where i have given uh, the explanation how we can generate a gray code of any bit or for any bits all right so uh, i'll just give the exam uh, i will repeat that again the first bit is written as it is starting from the msb the first bit is written as it is like I have written it over here then we compare the two consecutive bits so if the two consecutive bits are same we mark it as 0 if they are different we mark them with 1 then we compare the next two consecutive bits these are also same I will mark 0 and again we will have 0 over here similarly the first bit which is actually the MSB is written as it is then you compare it to its next bit that is 0 0 again then 0 0 again and 0 1 are different that's why you will mark it by 1 now let's write down the gray code for the next bit combination we will have msb as it is 0 0 are same that's why you will mark 0 over here 0 1 are actually 1 and then 1 0 are different again so you will mark 1 similarly i can fill this whole table Okay, now you can see I have filled this column uh, of the gray code and uh, I'll just fill it till 9. Why? Because the rest of the combinations are not present in VCD. That's why all the remaining bits are marked as the don't care conditions for the gray code since these are not actually the VCD numbers. Fine. And same you can do in the K map as well. I'll use basically the kmap for determining the function expressions so let's start it now okay once you have actually written the kmap you can see for the g3 the only min terms that are present are 8th and 9 that's why I have placed one over here and for the rest of the boxes I have placed the don't care conditions now let's just combine these eight consecutive or adjacent boxes for determining the expression of G3 one thing to be noticed is that you will be writing the bits in the form of B0 B1 B2 and B3 so you can see G3 comes out to be only B3 okay since B2 is varying from 1 to 0 that's why it's not written and similarly B1 and B0 are varying in all boxes that's why from here you have determined the expression for g3 which is actually equal to the b3 so the both bits are same now let's write the expression for g2 similarly i have placed ones in the boxes where the g2 is equal to 1 and in this way first i will combine these 8 adjacent squares which will give g2 is equal to b2 and then again you will combine these 8 adjacent squares and hence you will have this is equal to b2 plus <clears throat> b3 so this is the simplified expression for the second bit of the gray code okay the next step <clears throat> is to drive the function for g0 and g1 i have already placed once in the boxes and 
द ओनली थिंग दैट वॉज लेफ्ट टू मार्क द डोंट केयर कंडीशन ऑल राइट हेयर यू विल नॉट मार्क द डोंट केयर कंडीशन बिकॉज द एट मेन टर्म वॉज इक्वल टू जीरो ओनली टेन इलेवन टू फिफ्टीन मेन टर्म्स आर एक्चुअली जीरो वंस यू हैव डन सो द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज टू कंबाइन एक्चुअली द वंस and include the mean terms conditions or don't care conditions for the mean terms and uh, you can see we will cover these for adjacent squares like that and g0 will be equal to b1 complement b not for these four adjacent ones in the columns and similarly it's equal to what b1 b not complement and if you compare this expression with this simple logic gate you can see that g not is actually the xor of b1 and b not fine now again let's place the don't care conditions uh, over here so these were the don't care conditions for the g1 and our task is to combine or simplify the expression by merging these four consect squares like that and hence g1 will be equal to b2 and b1 complement plus b3 and here you will have b1 okay let me see again uh, i have combined uh, sorry it it should be equal to actually i have combined these two boxes so it will be equal to b2 complement b1 which is again equal to the b1 xor of b2 once you have derived the expressions for the g0 g1 and g2 which was equal to b2 plus b3 and then g3 which was equal to b3 you can simply construct the gate level diagram for implementing this function so let's just do that if you are having the inputs b0 b1 b2 and b3 you can clearly see you can implement g0 by the xor of b0 and b1 so let's just do that and it will generate basically g0 okay then g1 is obtained by the xor of b1 and b2 so you will take b1 and b2 and again you will xor it for generating the second bit which is actually g1 and then the next step is to generate g2 g2 is generated by the or operation of b2 and b3 so let's just or the b2 and b3 for obtaining g2 the second bit of the gray code and the last but not the least g3 is actually equal to b3 so simply you can get the third bit of the so the fourth bit of the gray code which is actually the g3 in this way you can implement this bcd2 gray code converter thank you for watching if you have any query you can drop your questions in the comment box and uh, one thing more if you want to perform the reverse task like if you are given the gray code and you have to construct the bcd circuit or convert it into the bcd number 
adopt the same method and mark the dot care conditions for the rest of the combinations of the gray code and you will get the required results.